So our show is quite different from the original. His build is sort of darker, scarier. I think it's also darkly comedic at times. And I'm watching it, I'm like, wow, that, that's very gory. <laughs> And he told me it would be like Tony Stark meets Bruce Wayne, and right away I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, I play Evan Cross on Primeval New World. Evan is uh, the uh, visionary um, inventor guy. So I play a character called Matt Rendell, uh, originally from the UK. Um, born on a council estate, lived with his mum and his dad until his dad unfortunately passed away. Um, playing Dylan Weir is really fun because we see her at the beginning of season one as a conservation officer, a predator control expert who deals with mountain lions and bears. One day Evan Cross comes and knocks on his door and says, look I knew your father, I'd like to offer you a job, mm. which he takes with both hands and moves to North America and starts working at Cross Photonics as a security guard. Photonics. It's called Cross Photonic. Evan Cross uh, invented some stuff to do with cellular technology. It's not really a front, it's a real company. It's a, it's a very real working company and um, he's been able to, to make millions. Uh, it's a very successful company. And eventually, after a year, year and a half, uh, Evan goes to him and says, I'd like to promote you and offer you a job in a new section, a hidden section of Cross Photonics, which is the Dino Hunter section. <laughs> Shouldn't you be guarding something? What? Max been promoted to the special projects group. Doing what? Special projects. But Evan does have a, a secret part of his factory that, that we call the tank, and it's only a very few amount of people that are allowed access to that right. the, that, that part of the building. Um, that's where we try to, to, to discover what is going on with these anomalies. <laughs> I would keep missing it. We're, we're sort of thrown into this world of anomalies with Dylan, and there's that initial fear and shock, but then the fascination, of course, outweighs it all, and there's, just, there's no choice for her, really. She <laughs> is so intrigued by it that, of course, she needs to jump on board. Um, so he gets brought into this world, and he's just like, this is awesome. <laughs> she is feisty. She's very practical. Um, Dylan has had very specific training when it comes to predators. Not only is she an expert at sort of animal behavior study, but I think it crosses over into the human spectrum as well. I think she's really intuitive and um, I think she's a great calming force to have on the team as well. He's just very easy going, very chilled, he's very loyal. He loves the action, he loves the drama, he, mm -hmm. he loves being involved and he's the first one to run out of the car with the rifle and try and figure out what's going on. We film in Vancouver and it's actually Vancouver for Vancouver. Um, I have done so many American shows in Vancouver or Toronto um, or Montreal for that matter and <laughs> it's, never, it's never the city that you know, I'm actually filming and it's always some American city that we're pretending um, it, it, it to be, but no, it's nice. We get to showcase Vancouver finally. We do get outside of the zone. The um, landscape surrounding the city, I mean, if you can go north towards the mountains and we've got the ocean and it's just really stunning and very rugged and, and you know, that's why so much sci-fi shoots in Vancouver. It's so easy to play it yeah. for other planets. <laughs> the, the mountains just jut out of the ocean out of nowhere and it's very raw and it's it's, it's a very um, it's a very mystical place so it's, it's really good for the setting mm -hmm. of, of our show. We do have a little bit of time travel mm -hmm. which was really fun and, and Dylan gets to be present for for some of that. I didn't actually know I hadn't watched the original series mm -hmm. but um, as soon as I was auditioning I started familiarizing myself with it and watching it and it's fun. It's fun to look at the parallel. I didn't know. I, I had no idea. Um, I, I, I hadn't even heard of, heard of it. And 
and uh, I watched uh, a lot of episodes from one through season three, and that's all I had on Netflix. I, there, there have been things that have been posted which have like uh, likened us, you know, who's who, <laughs> the, the, you know, and I just, yeah. I just wanted to completely be away from all of that, you know. Well, yeah, uh, Vampire Diaries definitely has its share of effects and it, it has very big shoot days because of the effects but my character wasn't really hanging out in the in the woods that much where the werewolves and vampires and witches are mm. doing battle daily she was um much more reality based mm. so that this has been fun about primeval new world um is being in the field and like really being you know in the in the thick of it mm. all the time and she's always in attack mode and she's always fighting something and or or running for her life the finale was filled with really cool stunts there was some cool fight stuff and um, yeah, <laughs> the, I don't want to say specifically, but the entire finale is like stunt after stunt. Yeah, as much as I can. I, I love doing all the stunts and as, as along our stunt coordinator, Marshall, I was just like, look, I want to be jumping into that van. I want to be doing this. And he's like, okay, as long as it's safe, we'll get you, we'll get you to do as much as you can. Our writers did a nice job of, of informing all of the actors by placing a, a, a one page breakdown of, of each dinosaur, each creature that we were going to be faced with in the episode. They would give us the dimensions of it, the height, the length, what it ate, how fast it was, um, all, all of those things, down to the size of its teeth. Um, I always loved the Triceratops. And when I was a kid, I loved uh, the Triceratops. <laughs> I loved the um, Velociraptor because uh, it, it, it spits. <laughs> and I sort of developed an appreciation for the more vicious dinosaurs now, I think, <laughs> after working on Primeval New World. Uh, raptors are pretty cool. <laughs> mm. um, I know my least favorite dinosaur, just from the show, from a show perspective, would be the Albertosaurus, because the Albertosaurus is the one that actually ends up killing Evan's wife. Oh. Yeah, and that's what, and that's, that's, the, that's where the pain um, uh, comes from for Evan Cross, and you know, that, that gives him his, his whole through line for the show. Mm. Um, it was. It really scared me in Jurassic Park when mm -hmm. it went. <laughs> so I had a little toy of that one that could squirt water. What was the one with the really long neck? He would just eat his leaves and stuff yeah. and just chill out and get on with his stuff. That's very much like me. I just sort of go and nibble a bit of <laughs> forage. And... Dylan Weir can't pick favorites. Yeah, I, I don't actually have a favorite dinosaur. Um, I'm looking for a friendly dinosaur. I mean, right now they're all so scary. Like Rex, <laughs> no, we don't. We don't actually. We don't have our little sort of office dinosaur who hangs out. I, well, we need a Rex. Petition for a Rex. We, we, I hope, I hope we, we run across a Rex. Yeah. <laughs>